In this video, I will show you how to install the simple voice chat mod onto Minecraft. For example, you might want to play on some servers with your friends where this mod is enabled, so you want to be able to talk to them. To install this mod, you will need to exit Minecraft and go over to your browser. Okay, now we are back inside of our browser. First off, we write simple voice chat mod and we press the enter button. Then we select the CurseForge link at the top, it's a safe site to use. After you get inside of this website right here, you navigate to the file section and you select it. Then you scroll down and look for the exact version of simple voice chat mod that you are looking for. For example, I am looking for 1.20.1 .1, and this is the latest version, but this may be different for you. Also, you need to make sure to note the version you download as you will need that information for later. After you have found the correct game version, make sure you select the correct mod loader. For this video, we will be using Fabric, so select the Fabric mod loader version. Fabric is a third party mod loader that acts as a middleman between your Minecraft client and the mod that you are downloading. If you're joining someone else's server, you should check what version of the mod and what mod loader that server is using, so you can use them as well. Me, myself, I will be using these versions in this video. The setup process should be similar regardless of the game version and mod loader that you decide to download. Here it is, we press the three dots and then we press download file. When we get redirected to this website, we will need to wait for a few seconds for the download to start and be careful about clicking on any of the ads because they are not the download button, they are just ads. As you can see, voice chat has just downloaded. Now we open up a new tab and we write Fabric Minecraft. Then we press the enter button and we open up the first link at the top. Here, after we get inside of this link, we go into Installation. To install Fabric, you need the Fabric Loader, which you can download here. You press that button right there. And here, at the top, you can either download for Windows or download Universal Jar. Since I'm using Windows, I'll download the first option, but if you're playing on a device that isn't Windows, you select the one below. And as you can see, everything is downloaded. Now, we can exit our browser. We open up the file explorer, then we go into downloads, and here at the top we have fabric and the voice chat mod. We select both of them and drag them out to our desktop. The first thing that we will need to do is install fabric. To install fabric, we just double left click on the fabric application, and now we are inside of the installer. Here at the top we need to select the Minecraft version of fabric, this version must match the version of our mod because if it doesn't, the mod won't work properly or at all. So we downloaded 1.20.1 .1 of voice chat and we select the exact same version for fabric. The loader version you don't need to mess with. The installation folder of Minecraft should be found automatically by fabric unless you have a custom installation in which you will need to find it yourself. Then select create a profile and press install. Now, after you have installed Fabric, you will need to run Minecraft. Now that we have started the Minecraft launcher, here at the bottom we select this right here and then we can select Fabric from there or we can just move over to installations at the top, find the Fabric loader, hover over it and press the play button. Now, after we have gotten inside of Minecraft, at the bottom you can see Minecraft 1.20.1 slash Fabric modded. That means that the Fabric installation was successful. Now we can exit Minecraft by clicking the close button at the top and here we can either go over to the search bar and write run and select this application right here or you can just simply press Windows key plus R. In the bottom left, the run prompt will open up. In there, you need to write percentage sign, app data, percentage sign and press the enter button. Now you will get inside of this folder, you go into Minecraft, and here you will look for the mods folder. The mods folder should automatically be created once you run Minecraft with Fabric selected, but if it doesn't, you can always just right click, go select new, and then select folder and name it mods. Now we open up the mods folder, we take the voice chat mod and we just drag it over to our folder. Now we can go and open up Minecraft once again. 
We are back inside of the Minecraft launcher. Here at the bottom, we select Fabric, or if you don't want to select it right here, you can go into Installations, hover over the Fabric Loader, and press the Play button. To use the simple voice chat mod inside of Minecraft, you will need to use a server which also has this mod installed. But for now, I'll show you the mod inside of an offline world. And I just loaded inside of my world. I can press the V button on my a keyboard because that is the default keybind for simple voice chat. The simple voice chat mode overlay opens up here. You can mute yourself, mute other players, select the settings option and play around with a lot of the settings available or you can just create a group using the group button. You can also remove the icons that show up from the voice chat overlay by pressing the I button. Another thing that you can do is press the escape button, go into options, then go into controls, then keybinds, and scroll to the bottom. Here you can change the keybinds for the voice chat mod. So, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.